somebody who is um yeah i would say it somebody's more on the pale side to get away with this this could work as a really nice blush here if you're pale that could also work really nice as a highlight on somebody who's pale as well so these are not that bad um but it doesn't that's deceiving like it doesn't look like this color on this box at all and then the other one let's open it up let's see how much of a color difference this is off the box this is the deep one. Oh, what did I do? Did I get my fingers in this? Well, the colors are a little bit more accurate to the box for the most part. Careful not to stick my finger in there. Um, for the most part, the colors are a little bit more accurate on here. Um, so yeah. Let's go on the box product there so not too bad not too bad it's pretty close so I would definitely say this is definitely for deeper skin tones uh, especially this beautiful beautiful highlight color which can also be used as the eyeshadow I hope and this is that highlight shade right there um, but these colors could look really good on somebody my skin tone as well honestly both of them could but this is definitely hinting more towards the paler side because these colors are a lot more cooler and lighter if you purchase this and it didn't work out, maybe you could just use it just to you know, contour your eyes or something. So I basically just wanted to show the color comparison and what, which one I thought would go better for some of my skin tone. And the cool thing about these palettes is these do pop out. So if you feel like, I like these colors and I like some of the colors in here and I want to like mix them up, you could. All right, so I want to go ahead and test this dark one out because I'm already tell you, I purchased this one before when it first came out and I was like, what the he? What is this going to do for me? This doesn't even look like what's on the box. I took it back. I just didn't see the point in it, but now that it came out with this shade here, now I actually have something to kind of compare it to, kind of show you guys a comparison so you can see, okay, do I want to invest in this? Is it even worth it? You know what I mean? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and use a fan brush. I haven't used this in a very long time. When I first started my channel, I used to use this to contour with. So I'm going to, I'm going to go with this shade right here. This one in the corner right there. I'm going to see how that goes. I've already applied foundation. I've used the Milani until I get something that I'm going to use to replace that. But oh my gosh. And the cool thing I like about using the fan brush is it just gives it more of an airbrush and it covers this whole area. So that's the cool thing about that. I just haven't done that so long and I think I saw somebody doing it recently and I was like oh my gosh I used to do that. And I haven't done it in like so long. So it's kind of cool. You see other people something they used to be like ah what's up on a time so this is nice i like that that's nice and subtle and i'm going for a nice and subtle like everyday look i'm not trying to like go all out i've already we already jumped a couple of steps because i was kind of debating if i was going to put this on so that's why i have lipstick on already if you're wondering like ah she had a whole lipstick on already yeah i kind of wasn't sure if i was going to do this video and i realized i needed to like try it on and so, kind of skipped a couple of steps. And we have to darken some of this hair on here too, because you know, it looks weird when your chest be looking all pale. All right, so, and I don't know if I really want to go darker than that, especially if you're going for something all natural, but let's try that little color right there. Boy, right, I'll just focus it right here in the back, and I'm gonna flip it upside down where I didn't put the color, so I can like, not put more color on there and just work on blending this out focus this more in the hollows all right let me do the other side where i still have some more chocolate the, the deepest shade on there just focus it right there in the outer corner and i'm going to flip it over and blend it out and blend it upward as well into the hairline i'm going to 
little bit right there and blend whatever is left on the forehead I'm gonna add any more extra just whatever is left on the brush this is really nice so then for highlight I'm going to use both why not <laughs> All right, I'm gonna cuz that I'm gonna tell you off the rip this color here is like way too light for somebody like me um, It just is I, I prefer not to and just go ahead and wipe off the brush Okay, And I'm just trying that color by itself And I don't see anything coming off on the brush. Maybe I need to try it the brush. I'm gonna try this angled brush here from BH Cosmetics You know what if it doesn't look bad. It, hey, it's nice and subtle. Okay, good. Good. You know what? Using this by itself is not bad at all. Okay. I thought it was gonna be like crazy too light because I have one from La Rock Pro, um, and that one is beautiful on um, lighter skin tones and fair skin tones. It's just stunning, and it's just color. But I don't feel comfortable using that on me. But this is nice. Oh my gosh. Alright, and I'm gonna use this a little bit of this color. Maybe I can use it as a blush. Because I actually love using natural tones as blush. And it's not too brown, but it's definitely like more of my skin tone, but just a little bit warmer. So it just create a nice little look. Alright, and then I'm gonna try a little bit of this highlight. Why not? I'm gonna try a little bit of this color right here just to see. Maybe I use it as a topper and see what happens. I think mix some of the two. So it's not too bad. It gives a nice gold glow. There we go. That's a nice way to like brighten it up. So you can mix the two on the brush before putting it on. Alright, and that's the look I was able to create with both these palettes. Anyway, if you're brown skin tone, this palette really doesn't serve you any purpose, but if you are pale to light skin, I feel like this will look great on you. If you have yellow undertones and you're like me, this palette would not work for you unless you just want it for that color, which I'm sure probably the new highlighter might be one of those colors right there. I, I don't think you should purchase this just for that color. And this one is definitely more friendly towards someone my shade and a lot deeper. So you could do so much with this palette right here, especially if you're brown skin, deep skin. That highlight color is just gorgeous. And these colors just make sense. I think you just gotta have to play with it and think, okay, how will this work for me? But they're beautiful. I mean, I like it. It's giving me a lot of color. I'm gonna use a little bit of this peachy tone right here. Just testing it out, see how crazy it's gonna make my face look. See if I can use it to brighten my under eye area just a little bit. It'll probably be very helpful if I change brushes, but you know, not bad. So you could use both of them if you're more in between my range, probably a little bit lighter. Um, you could possibly use both, but that's up to you. That's if you want to invest in both or not. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this comparison video. Just kind of talking about why I personally would pick some of these colors out of this and who it would look better on. If you'd like to see more videos like this, definitely make sure to go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and leave it down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell down below so whenever I upload a new video, you can get the notifications straight to your phone. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.